Welcome back to Who Wants to Live channel, and today we're going to talk about the school. So, just kidding. I'm not going to use the voice filter, or it's not even the voice filter, and just pitch my voice myself with my lungs. Not with my lungs, I don't even know how to say in English language, Jesus Christ. So, welcome back to Who Wants to Live channel, and today we're going to talk about school <sighs> so many memories and so many bad memories about the school I don't even want to remember but we can start right now my backpack was filled so bad I thought I'm going to break my back one day and books was so heavy it feels like school is preparing you for army and go to war but in general it's just preparing you for factories <laughs> so basically when you take off your backpacks it's so huge relief and it feels like you can jump so high and became professional basketball player like Michael Jordan oh yeah and I remember one day when my backpack started tearing apart and it's just start screaming you're tearing me apart just stop doing this to me what is wrong with you and i was standing there and did nothing while my backpack was walking slowly away from me i just understand it's all over i just stand up and told to myself i will be fine and i went to my mom to buy a new backpack and I got one the end so let's jump to the book story and when it comes to what we had in my school <laughs> oh, 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 oh that was tremendous that was fascinating that was to be honest with you nothing special it was just a bunch of books and those books was expired many years ago but good thing about those books I learned so many things back then for example Pythagorius Theoremius and if you don't know what that means look at wiki it was so useful I can't live without that even till this day doesn't matter I didn't use that Theoremius even once or let's take for example physics color spectrum why I still remember that or homo sapiens dogius shitius if I go into one that information, I can gather it myself. But we all are forced to learn that and it's just stupid might. And for the last thing, what I should include most stupid thing I learned never going to use probably in my entire life, it's basically 80% of all things I learned, but I know specific thing. And it is... School flute. There is no end to the things about books, so we can go on and on and on and stop on the best thing about books and it is when you're finishing the book and it's only a few pages left. And you get excited, but it's only winter, so you're going to take another book and your happiness bubble just... and you're unhappy again. Probably the most favorite classes was chemistry, and I don't know how to call that other class in English language, but it's like you need to make something from wood, you know, with a hand free straw, or you need to make wooden leg for table, just something like that. First I want to talk about the chemistry. It was kind of simple classes, because you know, I was living in a village, and school was in small town, so nothing special happened there, but still, that was awesome. First thing from that class is coming to my mind is volcano experiment. Ammonium dichromate is ignited and start to decompose decompose experimentally. It resembles a volcanic eruption producing sparks, ash, stream and nitrogen. When I saw that for the first time it was like best thing ever happened to my life. Of course, later best thing was internet. <laughs> and the experiment was like mixing other liquids, materials to get different colors or look at the things from microscope. We didn't have 
any of very old cells from the Stone Age or other cool things. So what we had was leaf from the tree or I don't know, smi slime from your nose. So in general school wasn't so bad. And it really depends how you want to look in all situations. And if you want to be happy, you can be happy in any place. And about that uh, wood class, I will talk about that in other video. Bye bye!